Welcome back folks, it's your boy Editor Matt, back again with another video. In today's episode, I got a little gift for you. A little something, a little something to help you with your video edits. So you guys know that split screen effect that people do? Uh, we've used it countless times over on Maddie's channel. Anytime we compare a GoPro or a camera or a lens or whatever, we, we've shown both images on screen like this. If you've ever tried to do this yourself, you know how annoying it can be. Because what you do is you, you crop your video and then you position it and then you hit play and then you're like, oh no, I need to position it differently over here. So then you, you try and tweak the position, but now you gotta fix the crop and then it's, it's a big old pain. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I came up with. And there's also gonna be a download link where you can download this for yourself for free to use for whatever the heck you want. This little trick is for Premiere Pro if you use any other software. Can't help you, sorry, don't know. Let's head into Premiere and uh, I'll show you the thing that I'm gonna do. It's really cool, I promise. Don't You don't wanna miss this. All right, so we're here in Premiere. I got two clips in this timeline. Uh, one of them is shot on the red, the other one is shot on my iPhone. Let's say we wanted to do a comparison in a YouTube video uh, comparing these two images. So right off the bat, let me show you the trick that I came up with. Um, let's hop in here. I have a folder called Easy Split Screen. I created that. We have one called Left, one called Right. So we just take our left, plop it on there, take our right, plop it on there, boom, done. Easy as that. All right, so let me show you how I did that. Let's start with our crop. Put in crop, place that on the iPhone. We'll always assume that we want the center. Uh, let's go left 25%, right 25%, oops, 25%. And now I don't wanna to touch this position. I'll explain later. Uh, we're gonna add a transform. We're gonna throw that on there. And now I'm going to take 1920 and Divide it by two, which would be 960, I believe. Correct. Yep, looks right. And now we're almost there on the left side. We just want to add one more thing. Let's go back to our effects and type in transform. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it right before the crop. And what this will allow us to do is make adjustments to the footage without affecting the split screen effect. So that's extremely handy. If you were to do this, any other way, it would be a bit of a nightmare to reposition everything, especially if you were still figuring it out as you went and needed to reposition, or if you needed to keyframe your split screen, this is the way you want to do it. Now, if you'd like to save this for later, you can select them all, save as preset, and that's exactly what I've done. That's how I've created my left and my right, right here. Let's quickly throw together the right. Now I'm gonna do this the easy way. I'm just gonna copy all three by holding down control and clicking on each one. Right click, copy, click on our next clip and control V to paste. Now right now it's on the left side behind that layer. So let's hide that. We'll select our bottom layer here. Now we wanna make this to the right. So, so if you notice here, the position is actually different from what we had in our previous clip. And the reason for that, it is based off the resolution of the clip, not the resolution of the timeline. Now the cool thing is that it automatically adapted to the new resolution. So we were working with 4K over here in our transform. We did half of half of the resolution. So this is the quarter. The center of this clip would be the uh, quarter mark of the resolution. Never mind. Don't for, don't worry about it. All I'm saying is that the transform over here automatically updated to the resolution of our new clip, which is really good for when we save this as a preset. It'll work for all resolutions. So now what we want to do is let's just reset this, and that's going to put it back in the center. To get this perfectly on the right side, what we want to do is uh, figure out what half of this would be. So 2400 in half would be 1200. So we, this time instead of subtracting 1200, we want to add 1200. So that would put us at 3600. And there we go. Now we are on the right side. This will be a little bit easier if you're just working with 1080p footage or 4K footage. It gets a little bit tricky when you have weird resolutions. Let's just enable both our layers and we have our perfect split screen. And now that we're done with this, we can select them all, save as preset, and you can make that the right side and that'll save in your presets over here. You can go ahead and create a folder. I, I called mine easy split screen and uh, put them in there. Easier to find later. So let's apply these and we'll just run through all the settings real quick. We got our left, we got our right. So we have a transform, a crop, and another transform. The last two here are the split screen effect. The first one is just so you can reposition the clip however you like. It is completely reset to default blank as can be. The reason we do this is because without it, there's no way to just reposition your footage. See how it's messing up the split screen effect there? So by using the transform, we can reposition things 
uh, before the crop gets applied. And on the right side, everything is exactly the same. And that's it, easy as that. I don't know if there's any tutorials on this. This is literally just something that I figured out one day and have been doing ever since. Well, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, there is a link down below. The very first one should be hopefully a Dropbox link, maybe another kind of link. I don't know, whatever seems to work at this time that you are watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know if this helped you and if you liked videos like this. I only got so many tricks up my sleeve. I can't, can't do this forever. I only got a few of these. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.